client server. Remember we talked about clients and servers being linked to create a network so that information can be shared across the network? Well, now we'll look at client servers. Whenever you turn on your mobile or you log onto the internet, you become a client. You are requesting information from a remote server that then sends back the information you want. Whether it's a request to connect to the internet, a request for the Google search engine page, or a search for the booking page for the local movie theatre. You might want to book a couple of cinema tickets for Saturday night. So you as the client are sending a request from your client programme to the movie theatre server to show you the films for Saturday, and then to show you the booking page so that you can buy tickets. The theatre server shoots off a message to its own server database to dig up the Saturday films and then finds the booking page for you. The first protocol, or rule, that you and the theatre server use in order to establish... Do you like what you see? Click the link at the bottom of this video to find out more about revision.